but I'm seeing a way more activity on my screen with this guy. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, that does look good. That looks very good. Can you get that transducer out? It's a big crappie. Holy. All right, guys, so the camera shut off right as I pulled this guy out of the hole, or as Mike saved it, because it popped off right at the hole. Biggest crappie I've caught, and this might be my first master angler fish here. Oh my God. Oh, it's over 50. It is. Pinch that tail. Oh yeah, 15, 15 and a half. And a half. <laughs> 15 and a half. There we go. Just here, let's put a weight to it though. Yeah, we'll see if I can that. dip him. 1.6. Mm. 1.58. Nice. 1.58, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Right. We're going to get this guy back down the hole. He's been out for a minute, but he's still kicking. There we go. Got it? Yep. Yes. And he's out Please. of here. All right, guys. So I've made it up to the taxidermist. I'm here with Heath Fiala, uh, Fiala Fish Taxidermy, and he's got my crappie done. I'm gonna kind of throw it to you and let you explain what you did. This is a replica fish, and this is my first piece of taxidermy, so I really have no idea what goes into this. So. Yep. I just kind of get the measurements down from the customer, and uh, from then on, I get the photos done, and then I get the measurements, the girth, the uh, length, and all that, and I go to Actually, Lake Country Replicas, I have them make it. And they custom make it for me. And then I actually paint it all fresh from a flat blank color. Uh, it's just plain white. I have to assemble everything on the fish, the gills, the fins, set that, epoxy sculpt, fix it up a little bit. And then I uh, custom airbrush everything on it. So that's all pretty much I do with the replicas. This, you want to, yeah, tell yeah. us what you're working it's on actually now. actually a skin mount walleye. This is a drying process. And uh, just getting all the fins set and everything, it's dried out. Now I'm going to get to take all this stuff off here and rebuild the fins. The fins are kind of binged up, dinged up, but uh, I'll fix them up and they'll look good as new. And then I'll put the eyeballs in and do all the body work on there. And uh, it actually turned out this one's actually done painted. and i got to put a gloss on it. This is how nice the fins will look when they're done after I repaired them all. But yeah, this one's all ready almost for some gloss. Yeah, that looks good. It'll really pop once and I get the gloss on there, so uh, all the shimmers will show up and everything on there, so. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between yep. these two over here that are finished and. Yep, and got that. a bass finished. Yeah. And there we go, there's my crop, you guys. I'm excited to get that hung on the wall. Well. I really appreciate yep, it. Yep, I'm glad glad to do this for you guys. So, yeah, I'm taking more fish after the first of the year because I'm so swamped with 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 people. So, thanks for everyone. Yep. And I will definitely link his social media information down below so you guys can go give him a follow. And if you have any questions or you want to get something done, you can talk to him about that. We're gonna get this thing packed up, and I'm gonna get home and get it hung up. So awesome! Thank you guys. Thanks again. Yep. Thank you. have it guys I've got it home safe and sound and I'm gonna get this thing hung up on the wall I did go ahead and throw this master angler award uh, in a frame uh, that's the award for this fish and I think I'm gonna put it on the wall right here uh, which means I've got to take my big buck down uh, and move that somewhere else I mean that was I don't want to get rid of that one that one was a tough hunt so um, we're going to go ahead and pull that down, kind of see where I want to get it. I think I'm going to put the fish kind of right over here, maybe the, uh, the a little award here. And then I've got, there's a painting on the wall, which you guys can just see the barely the edge of it, but I might move over into here a little ways. And I think that is going to have to go in the corner over here or something, but we'll get that figured out later. Uh, I've got a hammer and a couple nails down here. And there's obviously a couple nails in the wall. So let's get this thing hung up. 
All right, so this is going to come down. Uh, we'll have to move that for now. This big dude will just go over here. And I'll leave that nail in there for now. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, like right there-ish. What you guys think of that? Does that look good? Uh, a little bit above eye level. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. I might end up going directly underneath of it. And then that painting kind of go up in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and stick a nail in the wall. Hangers right on the top of there. I guess I'll show you guys the back of it before I get it hung up. So it's got a nice hanger on it right there. And then he's got his information on there. Um, Fiala Fish Taxidermy by Heath Fiala. And then I don't know if that's like a little kind of brand of his or something. But there's the back side of it. And uh, yeah, there's the fish, y'all, I guess. Be a little bit better look at it. Pretty sweet. Back here, see the tail. Detail on it. This is a replica, so let's uh, stick her up on the wall here somewhere. This thing ain't very heavy, so uh, I'm not worried about like having it in a stud or putting it in a drywall anchor or anything like that. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall with that. Here we go. Is it straight? Straight enough, right? I think that looks good. Move this. I think this could go like right there. Yeah, I like it. So there we go, we've got everything moved. Uh, I think that looks all right right there. I think it looks all right on the wall over there. Um, it's kind of a bummer this area over there with my fishing poles kind of covers up that wall. So there isn't really anything great to put up, you know, in that area. But I think, I think that can go up there. Let's see if I can get up in that corner without having to move this rod cabinet. I'm just going to use one of these like 3M wall hangy deals and I think that'll be enough and then on the back of this I attached a little string uh, and I'm going to stick this up in the corner on one side of the wall and maybe we can hang it off that. We'll see if this works. Good enough for me. It doesn't really interfere with the rods. There we go. Let's get this out of the way. All right. Well, my little corner of space here at the house is uh, set up a little bit differently. Got my fish hung up. I'm really stoked on that. It's first one. Hopefully, it's first of many. And we've got the little award down there. I'd say my big buck in the corner looks all right. Uh, and we've got some nice artwork. My brother did that. I think that was like a high school piece. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. Uh, it's really awesome to get this thing finally done. Um, 
it's my first piece of taxidermy, like I said. Hopefully it's not my, uh, my last one. I don't really know what to go uh, for next as far as fish goes, uh, but we shall see. Uh, hopefully this year maybe I can actually get a real buck this fall, but that has yet to be seen. Um, yeah, first Master Angler Award on record, first piece of taxidermy, and overall I am really happy with it. Heath did a great job on this fish. Um, so, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I had a blast with this one. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to have this. The memories that are with this, it's not just a piece of taxidermy on the wall, it's not just a fish on the wall. It's uh, the memory of being out at the lake with Mike and the guys and catching this thing. Uh, so, you know, every time I look at that, I can relive that memory in my head. So, anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.